Assalamu alaikum. This is Abdul Rahman, a student of King Faisal University. In this video, we will use Apex to select, insert, update, and delete roles in a table through SQL's data manipulation language statements. This lesson is related to the video number two, which is the previous one. So make sure you finish that before starting here. Let's look again at the structure of our soul table, the student's table. It has four columns. Student ID is the primary key, and the student ID and name are not nullable. The select statement is the most used SQL statement as it allows us to query our database for the information that we desire, like who's passed the course, who are the outstanding depositor in the bank, and so on. Its syntax has several faces, but the ones that are important for us now are select and from. So, if you want to see all columns and all rows in a student table, the statement is select star all asterisk from students. Look to Apex and click SQL Workshop, then SQL Comments. In the editor window, type select star from students. Click Run. The result is no data found since we have not yet inserted any record in the table. Here is the syntax for inserting a single row. We have five statements to run in Apex, but some of them have errors. Pause this video and try to look at these errors. What numbers have errors? If you say four and five, then you got them correctly. Number four is wrong because it did not include name column which cannot be nullable. Number 5 is wrong because student ID is a primary key. So rows 1 and 5 cannot have the same student ID of 1. Let's enter all of them. Let's insert student ID, name, major, and address with values of 1, Abdullah, Network, and Riyadh. Run it. Click clear. Insert only student ID and name with two and Anas. Run it. Click clear. Notice that we did not specify the columns here. This is okay if you inserted all the values for all the rows and followed their succession. Run it. Click clear. Add name column and add it for the value. Run it. Click clear. Insert only student ID and name with five and Ibrahim. Run it. Click clear. Let's display all columns and rows again. Select star from students. Run it. Here is the syntax for updating rows. The changes that will happen should be defined after set. The rows that will be affected should be defined after where. So, you may read the first statement like this. If the student ID is 2, change his major to graphics and his address to real. And luckily, there is a problem whenever an update is run in Apex. It must either be a bug or a security issue. Lastly, here is a warning. Although this is a legitimate statement, it could be dangerous. Do you know why? It's because this will change all rows name to Trump. Here is the syntax for deleting row or rows. This will delete all rows whose name is Ali. Run it. Click clear. Select star from students. Run it. Warning. Why is this statement dangerous? Because it will delete all the rows. In our next video, we will create another table and insert rows using Object Browser. Thank you for your interest in this channel. 
If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for your notification on new videos.